Hey guys, it's Day and I'm back with another video. What's up guys? So today's video is going to be basically comparing myself from when I first started doing YouTube till now how YouTube changes people and the effects that it has on people's lives really and emotions um I think that this is a good video idea I was on live and somebody asked me that question and I was like you know what I'm gonna do a video on it because I think that a lot of people should know like exactly what you're getting into when you become a YouTuber um, I mean, it is fun. It's a fun time and it's great to do. It's positive, but it's like there's a lot of things that contribute to it and can change you as a person or just change your certain ways you think about things. So let's get into the video. All right, guys. So first and foremost, um, being a YouTuber, when I first started, it was scary obviously it was different i've never i never did it and it's kind of weird because you're sitting here watching yourself record a video and it's like you're talking to yourself um but with time you learn you know obviously i'm talking to my supporters i'm not talking to myself i just see myself um i mean it's really fun at first it's hard to like you have to one make sure you're promoting your channel like crazy all over the place and there's so many other youtubers out there that it's like honestly like a competition um and you're like as a person to do youtube i feel like you have to be strong you have to be strong-minded and it's even hard for strong-minded people because some of the comments that people leave are really just disgusting and nasty um so like as far as me beginning youtube i think like I don't know, I was more, I won't say I'm not chipper now, like, just the, it's a different vibe, like, you kind of are more goofy and nonchalant about a lot of things, but as it progresses and you actually start to get paid for it and it becomes a job at this point, then it's like, yeah, you have to know what you're going to post, how you're going to present what you're going to post, because presentation has a lot to do with a lot of things, like, I could respond to something calmly or I can respond to something irrational and angry and it's a 50-50 scale on which one is going to get what attention. Of course, the one acting crazy is most likely going to get more attention because the way this world is set up, people like to see that kind of negative, crazy energy and people acting a fool. Um, personally, for me, I feel like YouTube has changed me in a few different ways. Like... Um, when I first started, I was very, very open about every single thing, like, vlog everything, shit, y'all have probably seen me even get yelled at by my mom on a video. Like, I was very, very open about it, and then when I had my breakup, I was still very open about it, and at that point, I had, like, I believe 15,000 subs, um, because I had started doing tea videos with Diali, um, so we had one of our videos went viral and then I started to gain more subscribers. Um, so by the time I had my breakup, I was at like 15 K and then I was very, very public about that situation. And I'll say that's when I just YouTube for me took a turn in a negative way. Like I'm not even going to front. Like I enjoy doing YouTube. Yes, I still love doing it. I love my positive supporters. And I love coming and, you know, being a role model to people or being able to motivate people to do certain things. But I don't think people, yeah, be personal with your supporters, but I don't think being too personal with them is a route to go because then you end up in a situation where you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't with certain things. So with me, I wouldn't say neg oh, negative. YouTube made me a negative person. I just feel like I learned my lesson on a lot of things. And yeah, I'm still very open with you guys. But there's just some things that I will not talk about. And 
part of me feels bad because I feel like it's not fair to my supporters who've been here with me and seen like certain things like my family or my daughter or just my friendships, anything like that, that people want a closure on that I'm not willing to give a closure on because people just take things and run with them and people can form a whole story on you that's not even you. Like, you may have seen me react or you have, may have seen me cry or laugh. That doesn't mean that you know every little aspect of my person or every little thing that I deal with on an everyday basis, if you know what I mean. So, like, from doing YouTube then, I would say I was more, like, just all ass all out there. And so right now, in this moment today, at 2.08 a.m., I am, like, there's certain things that I won't say. I still try to be very open, but just not as open as I was with you guys. Because one sentence can be worded improperly by me or took it in the wrong sense to somebody else and then spread on the internet like wildfire. And then it just turns into this whole thing where you have to explain yourself a hundred thousand times. Um, another thing that changed, I would say it helped me grow. Like in the beginning, I would respond to every single negative comment because you just feel like you have to defend yourself because you know you and these are your supporters or people who are just watching to be negative because there are people out there who do that for some strange reason. I don't know. But you feel like you have to defend yourself because you're starting YouTube. You want people to see your channel. People read these comments and it's like you're portraying me in a way that I'm not. So I used to respond to every single comment and just try to defend myself and defend myself and defend anything that they were talking about that they didn't know or that I felt was against me and the person that I am. So now, no, <laughs> excuse me. Now I don't, there's some that, nah, not even. Now I just don't, I'll just delete it. <coughs> but um, like in the middle, around probably like two months ago, there were certain things that I would address because you're not about to sit here and say this and that and you don't know me. You don't know who's saying what about anything or why I reacted a certain way or my life story on a lot of things. So like two months ago, I would still say I was like replying to things, just not as much. But yeah, so now I just don't respond to it at all. I'll just delete it or block it or whatever I have to do because no. At the end of the day, I learned from doing YouTube that Somebody's always going to form an opinion on you. Somebody's always going to slander your name or say something that's not true about you. And that's just the world. That's just life. So, I'll like, from then, I'll be like, you're not about to. But now I'm just like, delete. Or I'll heart it just because, like, just so you know I've seen it and I'm not going to entertain you. Um... Something else that YouTube did for me is, YouTube is a blessing. I'm like, I'm very fortunate to be in the position I am now. Granted, it's hard. Like, it's, it's hard to be a YouTuber. Like, people think that it's just easy and we just sit here and record a video and edit it and post it. But it's so much more. Like, it's a mental thing. You have to be set up for this. And to this day, even me, like, I have moments where I'd be like, I oh, yeah. I'm not doing it like no not today because it's hard and you just like you're public you're everybody knows your life you go somewhere and you'd be like did they see that video I did yesterday I don't know if I should have said that or when you go to get a job it's like okay it's a 50 50 shot because you don't know if they've seen what you posted and maybe somewhere along the line you posted something inappropriate and your hiring boss just so happens to have watched you and now they don't want to hire you because how you portrayed yourself and now what are you going to do? So like, I, this is just all things that people should consider before doing YouTube because it's, it's hard. Like I thought in the beginning, like, oh, this is going to be easy. It's so fun. You just make these videos and put them out and you get all these supporters and they love you and you get paid. Flip side, let's go to reality really not it's not it's fun I love doing it but it's draining like sometimes when you guys get upset like if you have your favorite youtuber or something and you notice that 
they're not posting as much. Something you guys got to keep into consideration is half of the negative comments that we get might not even show up on our comments section. And at that, you guys still see a lot of negative comments. And then we have all these comments that we have to go through and make sure we're approving the positive. But then you, when you go to approve the positive, you obviously see the negative because they're held for review. So it's like, people, you guys got to realize, like, sometimes we need a break. You got to step back because it's really mentally draining. Like, I've had people... Like, a video like this, I might get a comment that's like, well, if you can't handle it, you shouldn't do it. It's not that I can't handle it. It's that I'm a human being with feelings. And at the end of the day, you do look at yourself in the mirror every day. You do evaluate your life. And when people are saying these hurtful things to you, it's like, no. And people still blow them. Like, people come for people's parenting and, oh, you don't deserve your child and this and that and this and that. Like, that's just some lines you don't cross because you never know what somebody's done for a child or how they raise a child or whatever the case may be you don't know that person or when people come about people's weight you don't know if I have a health condition or I just like being big I don't know like you you really have to consider these things before you do it because I'm telling you it can mentally destroy a person like I'm dealing with my own life situations right now so before like, my channel now, I've rebranded it, so it's all positive energy on this channel. So before I post, I think, do I want to post this? Because I'm already dealing with this. Do I want to see these comments? Because I know people are going to come at me. Like, do I really want to post this? Do I even want to post today when my brain is already in the gutter? Do I need to be more in the gutter? No. So that's why when some of us YouTubers take a minute and we don't post, Chances are we just need a personal, a really personal minute because we do show you guys a lot of our lives and then things just, sometimes things blow up and things get said from people to other people to other people to other people to other people, to other people and then you're painted like the worst person in the world when really you could be dying inside and nobody knows and you just put on a hard shell and... Like the fire, you go on the camera and smile. Oh, yeah, I'm all happy. Let's go. Let's get it. And really, you're like, oh, my heart is about to fall out of my ass. Like, you know, you never know. So that you before doing it, you just have to really, really think about longevity and where it could take you in years. Some Some hurtful things are just not worth a video. Like, there's some topics I will not touch and I refuse to touch it. And I apologize if that makes any of my supporters, you know, like, feel like you guys are entitled to knowing certain things. And I mean, to an extent, I feel like there are things that I wish I could answer for you guys that I just won't. I can't bring myself to do it. And that's something that you'll learn. From in the beginning, I didn't know when to just, just shut, the, shut up, Nadeja. You should have never said that. Now I'm like, I'm not saying it. I'm not. Because at the end of the day, you can tell your truth a thousand times. But somebody's going to tell a lie. And that lie is going to become the truth to everybody else. Period. You could defend yourself a thousand times. You could show receipts. You could do this and that. Somebody will always find a way to just have at it and switch your words. Change your receipts that are right here. Like, you see my receipts? But they still find a way to just... There's your life now. Congratulations. And that's something that I learned. Like, you know, you can't you can't please everyone. So do I answer certain things to please my supporters and then deal with the backlash? Then try to defend myself and deal with that backlash? Nah. I'll rather just come to my channel with positive energy and go every day from there. Because this is life. This is the life of a YouTuber. And it's something it's something like I love what makes me love doing YouTube is my supporters honestly like you got the positive people who keep me pushing the people who I motivate I love to motivate people I love to help people in rough situations and everything but sometimes I know when I need to be like nope keep your mouth shut keep your mouth shut and at the end of the day there's certain things and I feel probably know what I'm talking about there's certain things that I'm not going to touch that people are going around making a story about Make your own story. At the end of the day, I know me, and I know 
my truth. I know what I'm dealing with. I know what decisions I've made. I've made bad ones. I'm not going to lie. I have. I can't take them back. All I can do is move on and grow from it. I'm not going to keep dwelling on those. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know when they're, you know when to touch and when to not touch. And that was something that was recently learned from me. Like, two months ago? Go ahead, day. Run your trap. But me now, nah. And you guys can make whatever story that you want without me speaking on it. Because even if I spoke on it, you're still going to take whatever story you want. So have at it. You guys could tell me my whole life. At the end of the day, I know my life. But for those people who are out here making my life and making me the person that they portray me to be, it's still going to be what they portrayed at the end of the day. Anyway, so I'm not going to sit here and fight it. Say what you want. Because even when you defend it, it doesn't help. So, that's just some things to think about before you do it. I mean, I think it's a great opportunity. It is a well-paying, you know, job. Just, is any amount of money worth your mental health? Is any amount of money worth your physical health? I don't think so. So, that's why I like... You know, I take a step back sometimes because it's hard and it's a lot. I love doing it, yes. I love making videos for you guys and being positive. And I would love to meet my supporters. But it's just something you got to prepare yourself for. So in general, I would say day from when I first started YouTube to day now is I'm different. I am. I still love doing it. But I've learned. I've grown from it. So I would say day before is more naive and not unrealistic and just blabber mouth, put it all out. And day now is got a reality check. This is life. This is what you can and cannot say. And not everything is meant for everyone. And you can't please everyone in this world. So that's day then and day now. And maybe in a couple of months from now, I'll do day again. But thank you guys for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, make sure you go hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. And I'll see you guys next video. Peace.